Hi, I'm Twyla with My Bilingual Life. I want to help you become bilingual. Today, we're going to work on the song La Llorona. La Llorona is a character in Mexican folklore that is a woman that goes around the rivers crying for her children that she lost. I have a video that explains a little bit about her. You can check it out here. The version of the song that we're going to look at today is by Angela Aguilar. Angela Aguilar is a new and popular artist that's coming up. Her dad and her grandpa and her grandma have all been famous singers. Her dad is Pepe Aguilar, her grandpa is Antonio Aguilar, and her grandmother, Flor Silvestre. They've all had great music careers, and she's definitely carrying on the tradition. I hope you enjoy her voice. I absolutely love her voice, and I wish her the best in her career. I think she's absolutely amazing for her young age. Now, this song became really popular with Disney's Coco, although I believe it's a little bit different version. So let's look at the words in this version that we're listening to today. Salías de un templo un día, llorona cuando al pasar yo te vi. Salías de un templo un día, llorona. Salías is the past tense of the verb salir. You were coming out of the temple one day, llorona. Cuando al pasar yo te vi, when I saw you passing by. Now this phrase, if we were saying it in normal speech, would probably be switched around. You would probably say, yo te vi al pasar. But in this case, to make the music sound more right, they switched it around a little bit. The other good thing about this song is that almost all the phrases are repeated twice. So, salías de un templo un día, llorona. So, llorona, you were coming out of the temple one day. Cuando al pasar, yo te vi. When I saw you pass by. Now, pay attention because... As in many songs, the vowels at the end and the beginning of a word kind of make the words go together. For example, de un is usually not pronounced. De un is usually de un. Templo un. Templo un. So this is very normal in Spanish speaking. The O's kind of combine and the words almost run together. Hermoso huipil llevabas, llorona. A huipil is a traditional Indian dress. It's kind of the long one-piece tunic type dress. Many times it's got beautiful embroidery on it. Hermoso huipil llevabas. This phrase, probably if we were speaking normally, it would be flipped around a little bit. Llevabas un hermoso huipil. Llevar, in this case, is to wear. So you were wearing this beautiful dress, Llorona. Que la Virgen te creí. Creer is to believe. So I believed you to be the Virgin. The Virgin is the Virgin Mary. So she thought that this was the Virgin Mary. But it's actually la Llorona. Hermoso huipil llevabas, Llorona. Que la Virgen te creí. So she sees her coming into the church and she actually thinks that she might even be the Virgin Mary. Ay de mí, llorona, 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 de un campo Llorona, llorona. 
this is this is the phrase that is traditional that the Yorona would say, ay de mi, ay mis hijos. So ay de mi is like, is like, oh my. De un campo lirio. Un lirio is a lily. So from a field of lilies, de un campo lirio. The whole phrase isn't quite there, but it's kind of like, here you are in a lily field. I, at the end of the song, I kind of give you what my interpretation of this is. But um, this phrase, she's talking about a lily field, a field of lilies. El que no sabe de amor es llorona, no sabe lo que es martirio. El que no sabe de amar es llorona, no sabe lo que es martirio. El que no sabe de amor es llorona. No sabe lo que es el martirio. Saber is to know. So in this case, she's saying the one that doesn't know about love. El que no sabe de amores, llorona. No sabe lo que es martirio. Doesn't know what it is to be a martyr. Now a martyr is someone who gives of himself for others. Um, it, a martyr also kind of means kind of a painful life. They're always giving and in the end, a martyr is sacrificed. So they don't really know what a sacrifice this is. They don't really know how difficult this is. No sé que tienen las flores, llorona las flores de un campo santo. No sé que tienen las flores, llorona No sé que tienen las flores, Llorona. Sé is from the verb saber, to know. Again. I don't know what the flowers have. I don't know what's going on with these flowers. Las flores de un campo santo. The flowers, the technical translation is this from a holy field. But this is often what a graveyard is called. It can be a campo santo. So I don't know what's up with these flowers here in a graveyard. What do these flowers have? Que cuando las mueve el viento llorona aparece está llorando Que cuando las mueve el viento llorona aparece está llorando Que cuando las mueve el viento, that when the wind moves them, in this case, we're talking about the flowers, parece que están llorando. Parece means to seem. So it seems like they're crying. Ay de mi llorona, 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 llévame al río. Ay de mi llorona. So this is kind of repeating this again. Llévame al río. Take me to the river. Take me to the river. Llévame al río. Lleva is from the verb llevar. And me, the re adding the reflexive on there, is take me. Tapame, we're using that same verb formation. We're using the ver verb tapar, which is to cover. Tapame, cover me, con tu rebozo. Uh, rebozo is the big shawl that is very popular in Mexican culture. 
Um, they might wear it over their heads or around their shoulders, but a roboso is a covering. It's like a big shawl. So cover me with your shawl. Porque me muero de frío. Muero is from the verb morir. Me muero is I'm dying. So me muero de frío. I'm dying from cold. Cover me with your shawl, Yorona, because I'm I'm very cold. I'm freezing, we would say in English. Me muero de frío. She repeats this. Tapame con tu rebozo porque me muero de frío. Cover me with your rebozo because I'm dying of the cold. Now the lyrics in this song are not that difficult, but some of them don't make a whole lot of sense. I'm going to share with you Twyla's interpretation of this song. I'm not sure if it's correct, but this is how I see this song. So La Llorona is this mystical figure basically a ghost and it's not someone that you would regularly see so my the first scene that we have is she finds her in the templo at the temple at the church and then they go to the campo santo to the cemetery and now she says take me to the river so my interpretation of this is that the person singing this song is actually dead and la llorona is death coming to get her being really cold cover me with your shawl i think this is i think this is describing death um in some beliefs um in order to get to the other side you have to go across a river so that's why i think she said lleva me al rio so I think this is kind of a story of this person, in this case, Angela Aguilar, has died and she saw La Llorona, who actually isn't a bad guy in this song at all, but kind of the figure of death coming to get her and take her with her. I'm not sure. That's the way I see it. I absolutely love this video. I love Angela Aguilar. I think she's a wonderful artist that's getting started. And I love the colors and the flowers and the outfits in this video. I think they did a wonderful job on this. And I just really love her voice. But this is not an easy song to sing, but she does it very well. I hope you enjoyed this song. If you have a suggestion for another song that you'd like to hear, please make sure to put it in the comments and I'll be happy to look at it. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of our other lessons. I'll see you soon. Nos vemos.